Let's talk a little bit about the 800. Um, 800? My boy, my boy Shane Strike. Hey, Good man, run. he ran. He's eighth, he had the eighth fastest time, but because of the stupid qualifying system, he doesn't get to go because he's in a, a faster heat. Regardless, um, all the big guns went through. I guess the one notable that didn't qualify would be Brandon Miller of AM. But at the same time, Brandon Miller, he's a freshman. He's already had a really long season, an incredible, you know, NCAAs. Like, to, for him to even make the final, I feel like that would have been the win. I don't think anyone had Miller as a potential top three. So he still had a great season. No, no, nothing to be ashamed of to get knocked out in this round when you have mm -hmm. Kidder, Brazier, Murphy, Hopple, Harris, you know, of those type of guys in this field. Yeah, Hopple won the second heat over Harris and Jewett. Uh, Daniel Nixon of Ohio, Iowa State, excuse me, putting together a good meet. And then Samuel Voles of Notre Dame also qualified. First heat was Murphy and Brazier across the line. And then uh, Kidder. We're going to get into this conversation again and how did they look. And we're going to try to read the tea leaves between like, was that a spry Bryce Hopple or is, is there an issue? And... What about Donovan Brazier? Did he have as much pop? I think we're looking at the same group that we thought. I think one guy is out now because Miller, I thought, had the capability. He had just he had that upside potential to be able to do it. But I think Brazier, Hopple, Murphy, Harris, and Isaiah Jewett, I think, is the group that can that can make it. Uh, and I'll give long shot status to to Kidder, Vols, and and Nixon, but. Did you think that you'd see more from the semis from Hopple or Brazier? No, I mean, I think we got – well, they, they're not trying to go crazy right now. I think they just want to – they ran like they're pros. They ran like, hey, just put yourself in position. Make sure you're far enough away from fourth in your field and you should be fine. Mm -hmm. I do want to talk about one thing, though, about this. So – if you had to pick a list of people who do you think can be top three, tell me where I'm wrong. When I, I would say people will probably say these six people can be top three. Murphy, Brazier, Kidder, Hopple, Harris, and Jewett. Would you agree? I don't think people think Daniel Nixon or Sam Voles of Iowa State and Notre Dame are making the team, correct? Yeah, I think. And Kit, well, Kidder, I think Kidder would be a little Kidder, I said it, I said it. I said those six: Brazier, Murphy, Kidder, Hopple, Harris, and Jewett. Yeah, I five of those guys. On, I'd probably put Kidder on the other side. Is all I'm saying. I mean, it's it's okay. Not regardless, what about, but whatever. Yes, go ahead. Five of five of those guys have the standard. One of them does not, and that is Isaiah Harris. Again, we're doing this the again. We uh, could. I'm, I'm just saying the, the standard is one forty five point two. Is there a chance? What's third his place in this race? Could be 145.21, and he doesn't have the standard. Do you think it could what? happen? Yes, because it happened in 2019, and he had to go out hard, which was out of character for him because he knew he needed to have the standard and top three, and it didn't work. But what's his world ranking? Is he on IAAF right now trying to figure it out? Has he called you? Because you seem to know more about world rankings than anybody else. Like, so I can tell his, you right, So Does he need to get it? Because so, that's going to change the okay. race dramatically. Currently, the, the 48th Isaiah, listen to ranked this. Isaiah, currently listen the, to this part. There are 48 people who get to go to, to the Olympics. Um, most of them have the standard, but to go down to fill the field to 48, three per country, the 48th person has a ranking that is 1,188 points. Okay. His, his, the amount of points he currently has is 1,242 points. So... In order for him to not to get it, would he would need, which puts him about like 38th, he would need 10 people from certain countries to improve their ranking past that number or all get the standard. So he's in good hands. I'm trying to say it's not that big of a deal. But what it is is when this happens, you hope the broadcast understands that he uh, – Okay, is not but you know, can he can he improve his own ranking? Yes, he can improve his own ranking. 
so it's not just one sided. No, yeah, and it will improve because if he gets third, that'll improve it. I'm okay. just saying for the people who are, are you... watching and they see him without the Olympic rings next to his name, and will they give him a flag or not? They need to say like, there's probably a ninety percent, ninety five percent chance he'll get in on ranking. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, you can't be wrong on this because I just told him to watch and tune into this part <laughs> to to get some good information here. And we have uh, so D- David in the chat says, I do think Gordon is the only person who understands world rankings. And there's like six people probably. And yeah, well, I'm just saying it's going to be a thing, right? We have yet to okay. have, first let of all, these world me... rankings are off. You need to change the date, man. You got to go to June 15th. That's okay. the anyway. rankings he was showing. Where, yeah. Okay. Whatever. Here's, here's what I want to know from you. If your <laughs> financial future was tied into Isaiah Harris's performance in this race, would you tell him to go out and try to get the standard in this race in the final? Or would you say that that's not a smart idea, that he should just run a race as normal, and if he gets top three, he'll go because you're confident in his world ranking? Which would you do? As the great Sam Hinkie said, trust the process. He should just trust the ranking. Trust the ranking, and he'll be fine. He's not close to the bubble. He's ranked. Okay. Tw- yeah, he'll be fine. I think he'll be fine. Okay. And just what's your address and phone number if this ends up being wrong? Just look right in the camera and can you tell Isaiah I live, the world? I live, on, I live on East 11th Street in Austin, Texas. I won't tell you, you the number. I, li- I, li- I do live in a forest. This is you're, interesting. You're, 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 you're going to sleep in.